Hey, Jeff Howard here at FixMyKite.com. I want to talk to you about something new that is coming in the, into the industry for quite a while now. What this is is the screw valves. There are different types of screw valves. You Sometimes you have the standard one, which a lot of people classify as the Cabrina, which is the small Boston valve, and you can see its size here. It's very easy to dump the air out, not a problem. Easy to use, easy to maintain. Uh, there's also a talk about the seals and everything else, but this takes basically either a custom fitting on here or it takes the standard valve, uh, I'm sorry, the pump fitting with a piece of hose on there to get this inflated. Uh, so a lot of them now are coming with a special fitting here that matches the pump. Now the other one that's in the industry is the large Boston valve. It's a large screw type valve. Now there are a couple out there in the industry. So this is your smaller one. You can see the size, re size reference. This inflate is a standard fitting on basically every pump out there that locks itself down inside of here with just tension and pressure and then inflates and it's a one-way valve. Both of these when they're screwed in is a one-way situation. The air can go in and you can see the small flap here on the bottom it allows the air to go in but stops it from coming back out. If these ever leak right here, these little flappers on the bottom side, simply take a little bit of silicon oil, rub inside of here and that will basically give that just that little bit more seal. So if you ever hear these leaking, which can happen um, a little bit, it's not anything major, rub a little bit of silicon lube down inside of here and it maintains that. As well as the other thing that's very, very important is cleaning out these threads and looking for this gasket. This little rubber gasket, little neoprene type gasket that goes on here, these can get sand underneath them, wear um, around the threads and around here from torquing these things on. It'll actually burn a little groove. And again, the air will slowly leak out of these. So you wonder where the screw valve leaking may happen. That's around this basic seal. How many kites we have had come in here to our repair center and all it was was a slow leak around this seal. Take these out, clean them up, put a little bit of silicon on them, Put them back on install and you will probably stop all that small, very, very slow leaking out of these screw type valves. Now I want to show you some other valves here. So with the, looking at them here, you have the air rush. This is the air rush screw valve. That's the stick on base. If you have to replace it or if you have any problems, the only downfall with these over time that we have seen and now it's starting to get fixed in molds is the cracking around some of these bases when they're rounded off inside of a kite. But a lot of them now have this problem has been fixed. Uh, here is the ozone. This flange has increased its thickness around here and they haven't uh, we haven't seen any issues with that at all. Um, when it goes to installing these in aftermarket, the, the air rush type valve, um, a couple other brands will use this. The lower depth right here makes it a lot easier to install on the kite. Whereas you can see the ozone is a little bit taller, but that does give you a good thread base down here. So it's a little bit difficult. You want to use a piece of cardboard underneath the bladder to give you that space to bond it. Now, again, here's a few other screw type valves. They're a little bit of difference. If you get these side by side, the ozone will only screw into the ozone. It's just a little bit narrower where, narrower where it will not fit into the air rush one or the Nash. The Nash and the air rush are using basically the same other than color here. That's about the only difference on these valves at all. But uh, as you can see, they screw right in. And it's very important to make sure that you get this seal in here correctly and tensioned up against that. When it does, a good lockdown seal. Most of these have Velcro inside of the kite, so when you do torque them on, you will not torque that bladder out. But that's just basic little maintenance, keeping these cleaned out of sand and everything else. That is about the only downfall that can do the damage, is torquing these, burning out the rubber in here, or uh, getting it where the leak will air go around the edge. But a little bit of silicon grease, taking care of these, blowing these out before you go and put them in. A lot of people do it quick and they have sand in there. And you want to get that sand out. Sand is like putting sandpaper down inside of those threads. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard at FixMyKite.com just to educate you further. And if you ever need any extra valves or you find some leaking, let us know. We do have these gaskets here and you can replace these gaskets. You know, give it a... Give it a good four or five months, maybe uh, once a year or something. Check these, replace these if you get a slow leak. 
give us a call. We've got plenty of these around here. We can get you service. Anyway, it's Jeff here at Fix My Kite to teach you to keep your kite lasting longer.